Hi, I'm Craig Moffett. This is part two of a series of videos I'm putting together on how to use the DVD Shop Express. I've had several customers ask me how to edit a captured video on DVD Shop. Let me demonstrate the quickest way to edit. In my example, I just captured a video called Finding Nemo 2. It's a school play and the teacher wanted me to do some editing. The teacher would like me to edit the beginning of the video where he walks on stage in front of the camera. At the end of the video, the director also walks on stage in front of the camera. The customer wants me to cut the two scenes, the beginning scene and the end scene, out of the video. I begin my edit job by opening up a program called MPEG Editor 3, made by Pegasus. The first thing I want to do is start a new project. Next, I need to open up a file. The file that I captured is found on my E drive, so I'm going to go to my E drive, go to DVD Shop folder, go to Capture, and I'm going to find Finding Nemo 2, name of the play. Inside this folder is a video file, which I will select. Next, open the audio file. Now that I have my video and audio loaded, I can now go up to Cut Edit. And what that does is it loads my video into a timeline. I can grab the beginning of this puck here and scrub through the, the video project. This little line here represents the length of the entire video. So as I scrub through, I look up here on the screen to find the director who comes on stage. And there he is, comes on stage, and he leaves the stage. Leaves the stage. That's where I want to cut. So I'm going to highlight that frame. Next, I'm going to come down to this little icon right here, and this sets my starting frame. If I click on it, you can see that the beginning of this video is now no longer there. Next, I'll push OK, and I'm ready to format. So I'll click on the Format button. For my output stream type, what I'd like to do is select System, Video, and Audio. And now I'm ready to go and I want to save the file to the same file on my E drive so I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to select E drive DVD shop capture finding Nebo 2 okay and then I'm going to save it uh, before I do that I want to do the file name I may want to change this and maybe say final now I'm ready to select my output. So I select output. Next I go to my E drive, open up my DVD shop, go to capture, try to find Finding Nemo 2. There it is. When I open the file, you'll see another file called Final, and that is the new edited video that I just cut. And I'm going to drag that file right on top of the DVD shop interface let go and you can see that it automatically loaded it as a pre-captured file I'll push OK and it loaded it as a program stream I'll push OK and now you can see that my project is loaded in DVD shop the new edited version of it next I'll go come down here and select author the DVD shop then begins to author the DVD if I checked write DVD before I started, the DVD would begin burning the disc at this time. If you'd like to see the other training videos for DVD Shop, contact us at sales at applied hyphen magic dot com. Thanks for watching.